Every now and then I get asked how to import red footage into Premiere Pro. So I'm uh, showing it to you now. Now I always uh, make a folder structure like this. I uh, make one folder called sequences, then another one called media, and a third one called assets. In the sequence folder, I create a new sequence and I have a preset made for several formats like HD 1080 for a 16 by 9 standard video size. I'll just call this uh, video 1 for now. And then I make the folders that we use in the media folder. And in this case it's called red. Now in the folder structure where I save the files, I make a similar folder structure. So I have project media assets and exports. And uh, of course in the project folder, that's where the Premiere project lives. And in the media folder, that's where all the media uh, is housed. Um, of course, you can make uh, different containers within this folder if you have several media uh, sources like I did in this project or this one in this project I used one media source so I just copied everything into the media folder if you drag and drop this into the project you'll have all these separate folders in your project file and that is just very inconvenient to work with so there's a different way to do this in your premiere project you select the folder you need the footage in then you go to media browser you then search where your footage is housed and you select all the files that you need to import you then right click import and this way the correct connections are made between Premiere and the, the raw red footage. You can then work with this as you're used to. If you drag and drop this into the timeline, you'll see that the 8K footage is just straight copied into there. Um, I always use set to frame size to make it fit. You'll also see that it's now in log format and uh, not Rec 709, uh, so we'll need to change that. Now, you want to work with the raw settings, and you can find those here in the Source tab. This is where you can change all the raw settings like white balance and exposure. So this is different than adding an adjustment layer and using the Lumetri settings because that is destructive and this is non-destructive because you're working with the raw settings. Below here you can uh, select Rec 709 and BT 1886 and that gives you a standard Rec 709 image. You can then further tweak this as you desire or use like LUTs or whatever on top of this. Also you will want to create a preset from these settings. Otherwise, you are gonna need to select every clip individually and individually make these changes to the settings. So, by right clicking uh, the red source settings and creating a preset, you can name your own, uh, which I'm not gonna do now because I've already made some. You can then select all the clips except for the first one because I already changed that one. And in your effects tab, you can find the presets folder and that is where the preset will live. I just called this IPP2 800 for the ISO and 5600 for the white balance. And I'll just drag and drop this on top of my selected clips. Before I do this, you can see it's still in log. I then select all the clips and drag and drop this on top of it. And it's incorporated directly. 
You can also select all the clips in your project and just drag and drop the preset on top of that. That works as well. So now you can start working with your project. Good luck.